Hi guys, we are here for religion. Um, if you have your rosaries, you can take them out. Um, we're gonna open up um, the same way we have the past few days with our uh, rosary and we're gonna um, practice again the Glory Be Prayer, but I'd also like to um, say the Hail Mary Prayer again. Um, it is still the month of May and we still wanna honor Mary and I am sure last weekend on Sunday, you guys all honored your mothers because um, your mother is honoring Mary, the greatest mother, right? And your mothers are so wonderful and deserve all of your love. Um, they do so much tirelessly to help you, and um, I'm so lucky to know them. So I uh, hope you give your moms extra love in today, okay? Um, so let's uh, start our religion time uh, with what prayer do we always start with? Sign of the cross, right? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And let's stare at Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, now, yesterday, I had our the amazing, amazing picture that you guys made for me in the background of our religion video, but I forgot to talk about it. Um, so I, I made a point to make sure it was there again today. Um, it's actually always there. It's on the inside of where I do all that writing. Uh, so I put it on the outside so when I have it closed. Um, because this is my where I'm currently teaching in my basement and... I need to have you guys in it somehow. So um, why I really wanted to make sure I had it is because this week we are talking about the Holy Spirit, right? And um, the Holy Spirit guides us and the Holy Spirit guides me into being a super teacher. And the Holy Spirit guides you into being superheroes. And I am so proud of all of you all the time for the choices that you um, do to make to follow Jesus, right? And we know, we talk about all the time, it is not easy. Um, and I'm going to re read to you a story about a little girl named Abby and how it was difficult for her to um, let the Holy Spirit help her make the right choice, but that she still did it. And we know that making the right choices isn't always easy, but we know that it's the right thing to do. And it's what Jesus would want us to do. It's what Mary would want us to do. And it's what makes superheroes rock like you. So if you have your books, you get them open up to page 202, um, and you can see a little girl, and she's praying with her mom. And I want you to think about if you ever um, lean on the side of your bed, and if you pray, um, if you ever pray like that, and if you haven't, and you can even see, I have a little um, picture up here in the corner um, of two kids praying um, out their window too. Um, so it's, it's just a nice way to pray. Like if we were in church, we would be kneeling, right? Um, where we kneel instead of when we sit. So a lot of times when we um, kneel, it kind of reminds us to, um, center our, our ourselves and bring everything into, into our hearts. Right. Um, but we know that there are so many different ways to pray, right? We can pray with singing. We can pray with dancing. We can pray so many ways. That's just one way that you can pray. And a lot of people do find comfort in that. So that's what you see going on in this picture, right? So Abby, this is this little girl, Abby, and she is um, a first grader just like you. So let me tell you all about Abby. One morning, Abby was waiting for the school bus. Something very scary happened. Two older boys pushed a first grader into the street. The older boys thought it was funny. They began to laugh. Is that a funny thing? No, you guys know, you guys are safe. You know, you have to be always very careful when you're by the street and you look both ways and you make sure an adult is with you, right? If you're ever going to cross the street. Um, so what do you think you would do if you saw something like that happen? Would you tell? That would be the right thing to do, right? If there was an adult there, then tell them right then and there. But if you have to wait a little bit and wait till the next responsible adult you can find, then that's absolutely something you should do. Let's find out what Abby did. When Abby got to school, she told her teacher what happened. Abby was afraid that the other children might tease her for telling on them and saying what happened. And sometimes that's something we're scared of, right? What our friends might think of us. Um, but what do you guys think? Did she do the right thing? 
thumbs up or thumbs down. Did she do the right thing? She did the right thing. Anytime someone's um, something dangerous could have happened, it's always the right thing. And you can't let what anyone else is going to say bother you. You know you did the right thing by letting the teacher know, by letting an adult know, right? That night, Abby's mother said, you did the right thing. Your teacher will know how to handle the problem. And at bedtime, Abby's mother taught her this prayer, Holy Spirit, Help me always do what is right. Why did Abby's mom teach her that prayer? What do you think? It's hard for us to know when things are the right thing to do or not, right? Um, and if Jesus was right there next to us, you know, he would say, of course, go do it. But when he's not there, when we have to make the choice in our own minds and in our own hearts and use our words, it's not always easy to know what's right because you, you, have, you think of so many different things and so many different reasons. And her mommy was reminding her that trust the Holy Spirit, trust in your gut, right? Use your heart. Your heart is good and your hearts are so good. And trust and let the Holy Spirit guide you, right? Um, we know that it is our job as followers of Jesus to respect and love all people, right? Um, just like think of like Dr. Martin Luther King, right? It didn't matter what their skin looked like. It doesn't matter where they live. That is our job to respect and love all people, right? And it's our job to always bring peace, right? Do you remember the story I read yesterday about St. Dominic? It's our job to bring peace and seeing something like that um, does not bring peace. And it's our job to help in any way that we can. And sometimes it's not stepping in like he did and stopping the fight. Sometimes our way of helping is going and finding a teacher or a mom or a dad. And that that's, that's still us helping, right? Absolutely. That's still us helping. So on the next page, the prayer you can see there, um, is when the, what Abby's mom taught her to pray. Holy Spirit, help me always do what is right. So color a border around that prayer, and then I'd like you, when you're ready, to say that prayer also, okay? And then after you have prayed that, you're going to look at the pictures that are below that and help the children use the Holy Spirit to make the right choice, right? See the two girls doing their work? What the one girl is trying to cheat and steal her friend's answers. Hmm. Holy Spirit... Help her to do what is right. What would be the right thing to do? Circle that answer when you're ready. And look at the brother and sister fighting over a toy. Holy Spirit, help them to do what is right. Should they make peace or should they continue fighting? You color that prayer. You find those right choices. And you pray that prayer for yourself too, okay? All right, guys. Love you. Talk to you later.